demands that we have the remedy to effectively return them with a zeroing out or that we may return uh, a demand with a promissory note, that we in fact may write a promissory note and, and under the statutes of the Roman system, promissory notes under the US codes, uh, uniform commercial codes are recognised as money. This also ties into some comments I'll talk about in a moment about mortgages. If you are a true tenant, not a ward tenant, not a tenant in common, if you hold real property, if you are regarded as a sophisticated investor or a noble, then yes, you are able to write promissory notes because one, you are deemed to own property of value and two, you are granted the right to issue negotiable instruments against that property. But if you are considered a pauper, a peon, a creature, an Indian, a citizen, a resident, an alien, an enemy of the state, you do not have that right at all. And if you think you do, if you ignore and reject what is being said and what others will have also hopefully explained and persist, you will find in most jurisdictions that the writing of promissory notes and the pursuit of accepted for value techniques will result in great angst and in some cases even prison. Yes, in their system, they recognise that promissory note is money. Yes, in their system, they recognise that if you have property, you are able to issue negotiable instruments. Yes, in their system, they recognise that you can accept for value and you can zero out. There are procedures, bills of exchange, commercial law. Absolutely, they're in black and white. But they do not recognise you as one of them. And this is what we've been saying over and over and over again to the point that it's like a broken record. Yes, there's some remedy in their system and we are pursuing it. But at heart, we're dealing with a global system of slavery that will never yield. The banks will never yield. The Roman cult will never yield. The Venetians will never yield. The Khazars, these mad, mad, mad people will never yield. Which is why years Decades has been spent in building the Acadia model as an alternative society. Why we're spending the time on the workbenches and building the tools, allowing you to build your communities very quickly and turn on the currency very quickly as we get this going. Now, as a Acadia member, having your trust in place, having perfected the challenge to being in test day, rebutting their presumptions, rightfully claiming your, your role in the, office, uh, in the occupant of the office of general executor, you will be in a position procedurally to back up the writing of promissory notes, to back up a schedule of fees as an executor for compensation for your time if it's wasted or if they demand certain things of you, or if they incarcerate you. But until those procedures are in place, if you persist with other remedies, 
and mix other remedies, then you will continue to see, as others have seen, there is no real solution and you will get into trouble. Please, please be careful. Now, another example where our knowledge is becoming clearer, and I hope that we'll be reaching a point very soon where four members that have continued through the ecclesiastical deed poll, have continued through the will and testament, where the societies have been established and have established themselves very clearly that the Roman system does not own your mind, does not own your body, does not own your soul, where your land has been enclosed, where your land is recognised as a sanctuary, a temple. When we reach that point very soon, then I hope we'll also see clarity in terms of the arguments of mortgage. Now, I've seen the arguments of mortgage still happening, where people are saying, I reject the loan because the loan's been paid. The bank, the financial services company, has been committing fraud. Yes, they're committing fraud but not necessarily in the way that people are claiming it. If you signed a contract by them, you should go and read that contract because in it you will see that you basically gave the bank permission to securitise the promissory note, securitise the debt. You gave them permission. That's called conversion in tort, but you waived that right. You gave them permission. So when you go to court, if you're going to court for foreclosure, it is a fundamental mistake to stand there and argue that the bank has committed fraud on the aspect of selling. That's not the fraud. What the bank has not done is the bank has not returned and provided an, a tracing or an accounting of how much they made in selling and securitizing. Or in fact, if they did in fact securitize and sell. That's the fraud. The accounting has not been provided. Now, presumably, as a bank, we can presume that a bank has some off-ledger account that balances things out. But they have not provided that. That is the issue. And another issue is that you cannot be argued as being the owner of the property when the bank is going to a foreclosure and the meaning of foreclosure means for, before closure, before enclosure, which is a fancy way of saying I'm claiming first mortgage. If a bank is claiming for first mortgage in order to take the property from you, how can you be regarded as the owner? You can't be regarded as the first mortgage holder. It doesn't make sense. It's absurd. So if you're not the owner, you can rightfully claim for the maintenance and the upkeep of the property, their property. That is not included in the accounting. Now, when you render a very simple ledger account, and on one side, the debt, and the interest, the rent due, and on the other side, you render the payments, you render the as yet unknown securitized sale of the debt and its returns, and you also render the maintenance and upkeep of the property, the net balance is that the bank owes you money. The bank owes you money. If you die in a ditch and create long-winded arguments and huge streets of paper where you go into a court and you're talking about the history and the meaning of it and this statute and that statute, then you're basically falling into the same trap that people go over and over again. You can't argue that the debt does not exist, but the accounting is out of whack. Now, people have great success in forestalling foreclosures, or some success, I should say, in forestalling, some people have some success in uh, getting to a, uh, a neutrality by challenging, looking for the um, accounting, the off-balance accounting provided. But I'd suggest we, we haven't yet 
gone to court, gone to a surrogate court, a probate court, as the executor, talking to these trustees and say, get the accounting right. Because at the end of the day, the accounting is the key. If all those charges are brought to light, then for the estate, it should be in its favour, not against. So I hope in, the, in coming days and weeks, we can make this clearer. Well, as I said tonight, it's been a few things, bits and pieces as we go through, and I, I just want to give you an update on the workbench, and then I look forward to taking questions and, and uh, hearing your comments. So with the workbenches, what we've been doing is getting the functionality going, and it's taking a bit of time, and I'm, I'm sorry it's taking as long as it has, but the functionality will be available for the updating of uh, documents into the register, the lodgement of public notice, the uh, communication of news issues, and then tasks within two weeks. Uh, money is still a little bit of time away because all the transactions that are occurring on the workbench will be subject to credits and charges. Let me explain. If you are going to perform, for example, the submission of news and maintenance of information, then your effort should be re regarded by the society as being a positive. In other words, there should be a credit for that. If people read your material, it should be recognised. There should be some recognition that you are an author and therefore you should receive some benefit of energy for that. If you are going to submit public notices, then there is a cost associated with it. Gazettes, and the word gazette originally meant a Venetian coin, a, a simple bronze Venetian coin. So there should be a recognition for the submission of public notices. So a little bit time, a little bit more effort in getting the, the financial transactions up before we can turn that on to the workbenches. And also I hope for those that uh, have been wanting to and have been frustrated by the registration. On the One Heaven site, under the title register, you will see that there is now a retry that allows you to retry uh, if you've had problems in terms of the screen defaulting halfway through. Well, we've covered a lot tonight. Uh, we have um, covered a lot of different areas. I hope that the discussion on agent agency, on uh, Roman document procedures and forms has been useful for you. I hope my comments in terms of acceptance of value were taken in the right light. And now I look forward to hearing your questions, answering your questions. And thank you very much. Thank you for all those that have been listening tonight. So let's have a look at your questions and thank you. Okay, I've got one question here uh, to start with, and then I'll get uh, to the ones live on the live chat. Uh, this is from Galactic Sojourner. Uh, as UK system, we have treaties in place with the higher dimension authorities for the direct intervention on our behalf to clean up, and I don't see the next bit, Galactic Sojourner, so hopefully that'll come up. I'm sorry I don't see the rest of your question. Um, We'll come back to that question. Well, let me go to uh, Micros 40 and see if we can just um, unmute. Hi, Micros 40. Hello, can you hear us? Yeah, Frank, can you hear me? Yes, hi. Hi. Um, <laughs> let me just tell you, you're wonderful and you got great information. Um, Thanks. Thanks. I've been studying this for quite a while, and one thing I've been using is uh, I went in and found out what it takes to become a U.S. citizen. And if you go through Title VIII as an immigrant into the country, there's certain procedure. And uh, <clears throat> one of the things they require you to do is become a, a lawful permanent resident. 
And if you go down that rabbit hole, 